we all know who Victoria Newland is, a uh, United States diplomat, which essentially is the permanent Secretary of State. So you guys know how we explain how we have permanent states. The last time I was, I was on uh, Glenn Greenwald's show, System Update, we talked about the permanent state. The people that still pretend that that the deep state is some sort of conspiracy theory because Donald Trump talks about it. He don't know what the fuck he's talking about. Donald Trump will say, the deep state exists and they are out to get me. No, that's that not the deep state. The deep state are these people that we can't unelect. Who? How can we get Anthony Blinken out of government? I'm asking you guys that question. How do we get Nira Tandon out of government? Nira Tandon, mm. the American people voted against Nira Tandon when they rejected Hillary Clinton. But despite Hillary Clinton losing, she is now the domestic, like she's like some White House chief of staff, domestic foreign policy. Domestic policy advisor. Actually, what is her official fucking title? Let's see. Nira Tandon. Should they, uh, what is her official position? Uh, domestic. She is the director of domestic policy. What the fuck? Let me show you this. Look, she is the director. Yeah, this this sounds like the, the director of domestic policy in the White House under Joe Biden. Did we vote for her? Did you vote for her? No. no, this is what the permanent state media is not a conspiracy theory. Is she? Is she? Is she a Democrat or a Republican? She's a Democrat. She's she was the unhinged anti Bernie Sanders person. It's crazy that I can't tell the difference between these people, and I don't know how people can see any differences because when it comes <laughs> to the most major things, they are bipartisan. On they will yes. agree with. You know what I'm saying? Going to work. Everybody is agreeing. Right now, everybody who's running for president besides Dr. Cornell West is uh, uh is basically banging the uh, the war drum and 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 pushing us to try to withhold our power that we have over these over these countries or over the world right now. Everybody wants to keep the grip uh, uh, uh around the world and nobody is being uh Nobody's really anti-war. It's like nobody's really anti-war anymore. It's crazy. I can't really tell the difference between these people. I don't think it really is any differences between, but besides fucking gender and fucking race, because all of them all of them fucking war. You guys don't know, to your point, um, CJ, WikiLeaks exposed. I'm trying, I'm trying to fact check myself here live. Uh that near attendance suggested that we steal Syrian oil. Um Let's see if I can find a good receipt for it. Um, maybe, I, maybe I can say I, I can't find a good receipt right now. But she she was revealed in re- WikiLeaks for literally advocating stealing Syrian oil for profit. Like she was an email. She was like, "Why don't we just take the oil and sell it?" Oh, yeah, yeah, I remember. Like, I wish I could find a receipt. Maybe I'll find it here soon. I, I'm sure many people know what I'm talking about. Now let's let's get back on topic. The reason I brought that up was because the permanent state and Victoria Newland is the perfect example of what the permanent state actually is. If you see Victoria Newland in your state, there's a good shit that chances that shit about pop off. If Victoria Newland is in your country talking to some sort of diplomat, there is about to be a coup. There's about to be a civil war. Victoria Newland is famous. I'm going to show you guys the receipt for this for picking uh, the Ukrainian prime minister over a phone call, a leaked phone call. Her husband was in a very influential role in government and played a, a critical role in order to push for the Iraq war. She did propaganda in order to justify the Iraq war. Every single war that the United States has been in the last decade or two, Victoria Newland had her handprints on. And I am not exaggerating. I have receipts. I'm going to get through here very soon. But this is why we bring this up, because this is how you know shit is going to get real in Niger. We have Maura Kimberly on yesterday. You guys should definitely check out the interview. She's always amazing. Um, And she went to Niger to essentially threaten the government. They went to, she went to Niger and she demanded that they don't fall in line with Russia because Niger need to be a proper United States vassal. So you want to know what the reaction of the Nigerians when she said that you guys need to reinstall your government and don't fall into the grasp of the Russian people? She just said, get the fuck out of here. (laughs) 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 This is the thing I can't you crazy motherfucker. She demanded to meet 
with the new uh uh, ele- uh the new president and not a niger the new leader and they said get the fuck out of here you delusional <laughs> way he, then they denied her right to meet the leader and then she went on cnn and complained she's like oh my god the niger coup leader refused to let me meet <laughs> with the deposed president she wanted me with the deposed president she wanted him to take power and she wanted to meet with him she's like, this, the fuck you think this is right the fuck you think this is and and that is a tell sign that Victoria Newland in uh Victoria Newland being in Niger, and we already know this because you had France, you had the United States, you had uh some Western African uh states that are US puppets that was calling for the reinstallment of this leader. Uh and they and Niger essentially told them fuck you. And I think it was maybe 35 hours ago, maybe 42 hours ago, where they gave them a deadline to reinstate the government. They're like, hey guys, you did this cool. You think that shit's cool. You think we care about uh, revolutions based on democratic principles? Hell no. You better give your government back to the corrupt government and we, you got into this date to do it before we launch a military invasion. That shit was like 42 hours ago, guys. So then Victoria Newland comes down there. Shit is about to get real in Niger. That's why you have Nigerian leaders that is warning and prepping their people to get ready to go to war with France and the United States because Biden and his administration already refused to pull out troops, and that was one of the reasons why Niger had the popular support of people, which led to this uh, coup, because they was tired of being U.S. puppets and being occupied by the United States. So by Biden refusing to pull Niger troops out, that's another country that Biden is illegally o- occupying, just like he illegally occupying Syria. So now he's illegally occupying Syria, and now he's Ill- illegally occupying Niger-, Niger and sending crazy people like Victoria Newland to threaten their new government. Do y'all know how unend the West is? And I'm gonna show you guys, this is uh, Maria Sarakova, and she boomed her uh, bad here. Uh, she said, Victoria Newland thought that in Niger, it will work like in Ukraine. It will be enough to bring a cellophane bag full of cookies and play everyone for a fool. But such a banana republic style regime like the one in Kiev, like in Ukraine, cannot be found anywhere else. So that was uh, a banger because she's pretty much referencing on how corrupt Ukraine is. And Ukraine corruption and ties with Western oligarchs is the only way they was able to do something that stupid as destroying their entire country and completely wiping out an entire generation of young Ukrainian men. But she said... If you guys think Nigerians are as dumb as the corrupt Ukrainians, you got another thing coming. Um, and Maria Zarakova, uh, she is the director of information and press department of the Ministry of Affairs of the Russian Federation. I had to, I had to find her title, so she's part of the Russian Federation. So this was their disc. Um, and this is what A1 know about Victoria Newland. She's a deeply problematic figure. She shows up. War is going to happen. Now, this is why I mentioned earlier. I had just two more quick receipts to run by, and then we can move to the next topic here. Uh, I'll probably got to bounce like a few minutes. I got to check. I think it's at five. I got to check. I got to check to see what time the business show is. I, I, I just wanted to, uh, I just wanted to touch on that. Uh, Go ahead. Well, once again, the West being exposed as a paper tiger, and, you know, they run on fear. This is how they, they get their power. they like, hey, you know, we're going to get you if you don't get back in line. But, we have seen reports of Wagner Group being underground with the uh, people in Nigeria, with the coup leader, uh, coup leaders, and uh, and army men. So they have to rethink their strategy. Like, yeah, we got a deadline, unless you know what I'm saying we on that ass. Then when they actually look over there, like, oh shit, yeah, you have to rethink now because you're not just fighting uh, Nigeria, you're fighting Russia also, and they openly stated this. You know, we're gonna help protect not only them, but uh, surrounding countries around Niger is going to help uh, uh, them if any conflict happens. So they have to rethink their strategy, and uh, they know that this is a losing game. They know they're going to lose a lot of a lot of men uh, if they was to go through with this uh, this offense. Yeah, uh, big shout out to Danny Haifong. I was just I was just talking to him not too long ago. We're going to set up something here very soon. So Danny, if you're watching, you got to hit me up. We got to we got to get this done. Uh, we've been playing this on and off for a while, so. But this conversation between him and Ben Norton definitely gonna be fire. Definitely gonna check that out. Hopefully, we get Danny High Farm back on the show soon. We planning something. I'm thinking I'm probably on his channel here soon. But 
we play by ear. But anyway, this is the famous leaked call where Victoria Newland was selecting uh, the new prime minister of Ukraine. And this is something that the NATO left refuses to acknowledge to this day. To I've seen debates where people brought this up and they just flat out deny that it happened. They were just straight up deny that the phone call happened. She they she literally pit uh hopefully I'm saying this correct, uh Yadazinki. I'm definitely saying that correct. But she pit literally what she viewed as a leader that, that would be fit for the United States during the coup of Ukraine. She was caught hand selecting Ukrainian leader uh, by the West. So when people say that, and this is the line that Vosh and many other people I've seen uh, who debate on behalf of the Ukrainian government, they say, well, you guys say that there was a coup in 2014, and that is not true. There was a day he was a democratically elected government. Like even, though, even though we got these phone calls that show that the Ukrainian government selected these people. So the last thing I'm going to show you guys, that this is a collection of all the horrible stuff that Victoria Newland has done. So once again, if you see Victoria Newland in your country, you're probably fucked. <laughs> Yes. You probably so I'll quickly go through. I will, I will do, I'll go through this really, really quick because we are short on time. Yeah, uh, I gotta so go I'll, pick I gotta go pick up my kids. So yeah. All right, yeah, Rome. Yeah. yeah, thank you for joining us, Rome. Thank uh, you. We gotta do a Nick and CJ with you, me, and you, Rome. I got right, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna get the I kids some shit. I'll, I'll I'll be free later on for sure, for sure. Yeah, I hate right. you, 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 Rome. Have a good time. Uh so I'll, I'm gonna go through this really quickly for a sake of time. Uh Victoria Newland, a key architect of the Iraq war, responds to Elon Musk's tweet stating that she is pushing for more war in Ukraine. And she said, if we don't support the victim of, of in this aggression, then this re aggression will be replicated all over the planet. I'm not going to play that video for the sake of time. And this is what Elon Musk calls her out for advocating for war. Now, to be honest, when I read this article, I don't care about that much about that part. You can tell that maybe a right wing Elon fan probably wrote this. And he's like, oh, look, look, Elon Musk called her out, too. Yeah, all right, who cares? But anyway, uh, let's get to the next part. And this is what I mentioned earlier. This is her husband, Robert Kagan. You got the coincidence that he also the husband of Victoria Newland, who was a key neoconservative figure who advocated for the United States invasion of Iraq, relying on the false claim that the country had weapons of mass of mass destruction. That's her husband, right? You guys see how the deep the deep state is? They even married to each other. <laughs> So here's the one. I, this is what I kind of butchered earlier. I will now say this name. This is what she was this mm. what she was called, talking about earlier. And this is number three, Victoria Newland, who happens to be the protege of Dick Cheney. I actually didn't know that. Uh, was called on a, phone, a leaked phone call planning to overthrow the Ukrainian government in 2014. And she said, I think Yat is the guy. Now, Yat, I probably should say that. Yat is, I guess, his short name. For, I will now say that. Is, I Ukrainian names are very hard for me to say. Uh, but you guys see here, uh, his short name. She said, I think Yats is the guy. That's her picking the leader out in the quote-unquote democratically elected leader that many people claim. Um, she explained how uh, she, they, they, she supported Nazis in Ukraine that openly targeted Jews and ethnic Russians in Ukraine for many years. Um, let me skim through this more. Uh, this is John McCain, Victoria Newland, John Kerry, and Joe Biden meeting with those. Also, I see what they did here. I see what, I misread it. So here they mention how horrible these Nazis are, and then they say, "Hell, oh, this is Victoria Newland meeting these insane thugs who was attacking <laughs> Jews." And I actually read it wrong the first time. I see what they what they're saying here. So this is her emboldening the most extreme Nazi like elements in Ukraine. Mm -hmm. um, let's see what else is here. We're almost done. Uh, number six, Victoria Newland's husband, Robert Kagan, wrote an open letter to George W. Bush nine days after the terrorist attack of 2000, uh, September 11, 2001, urging him to invade Iraq. So pretty much if you see this duo, uh, Robert this Kagan problem. and Victoria Newland, there's a problem. <laughs> and shit's going to get real. Um, so anyway, I, think, I think you guys get it. Yeah, I think, that's the end of, I think that's the end of this part here too. Just for a second time, if Victoria Newland pop up in your state, she's gonna get real. Uh, she popped up uh, in Nigeria. Now we know she's gonna get real in Nigeria. And like the Black Alliance for Peace says, well, the Black Pi Black Alliance for Peace call for all African people, all anti-imperialists, to reject United States intervention into Nigeria. And 
even if the Nigerian bourgeoisie do not have the best interests of the working class, because we don't know that's the case. Uh, just because they're anti-U.S. don't mean they're inherently pro-working class in their country. They can still be corrupt. But the principle is that we rather them doing deal with one layer of corruption, their government and only their government that they have control over, instead of them dealing with multiple layers of corruption. So no, before, not only do I, did they have to deal with their corrupt government, they had to deal with the West back in their corrupt government. So we want that third factor to be out. They should be able to fight and advocate for the people and, and challenge their government without intervention of the West.